Hey, just a real quick and dirty video about uh, Maytag heavy duty large capacity. My 25 year old General Electric packed it in, and the part to fix it was worth more than practically a new washer. But I don't want a new washer, I don't want anything with a computer on it when it comes to appliances, so I picked up this thing. Maytag, heavy duty, um, model, I don't know, LA-112, L4-112, uh, series whatever, four, made in Newton, Ohio, Iowa, USA, serial number, and seven amps, yikes. But anyway, pretty basic. Really liking the old two minute wash cycle for stuff that really doesn't need to be washed, but you wash it anyway. Pretty basic here. Having the odd issue of some water, a little bit of water being left in the tub there after the wash. So I pulled off this and trying to look around and then this thing pops off and in here it was just caked like just caked I didn't bother taking a picture or a video or anything you can see it's still kind of a little bit dirty in there but it was like man something else and there's the agitator and that's not a screw to hold the agitator down or a bolt but I did see something down there sticking out. So sure enough, there's the screw, no, a little O-ring. Just go and grab yourself a little quarter inch socket like that, unscrew it, and that pops up. And I'm just gonna put it back together and I pulled the machine away from the wall because I noticed that the hose is a little, well, not a little bit, but it is kinked. It does drain, but uh, I don't know, maybe I'll have to pop off the front cover and look at a plugged up pump or something. But I pulled the washer a little bit away from the wall so that it's not as kinked and see what happens after that. But the main point is, if you're trying to take off the agitator, right there, don't forget the O-ring. Thank you.